Continuing some notes on St. John's Gospel, most important at this time, Holy Week, leading into Easter. And this is the washing of the feet. Jesus' own love for his own people begins the long discourse. Jesus' hour has now come. It's the hour to manifest the glory of God in him. This is the hour of love. It's the hour of service, for those are synonyms. Doing for one another with the master teacher left as an example for all to follow. This is the beginning of the long discourse, chapter 13, verse 1 to 17, 26. Look for the theme of union, union of the Father and the Son, the Son and his disciples, and the union of the disciples with one another. Begin John chapter 13 with me. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. From that, what do we know? It's before Passover in St. John's Gospel. Go on, ask the question. Was the Last Supper, the Passover, the same way that angels number 27 is equal to Mike Trout? Well, here's the answer I'm going to give you. Absolutely yes and certainly not. Basically, we don't know for sure. You see, the Synoptic Gospels pin the date of the Passover and the Last Supper together, but John is a bit more obscure. And further, is it the most important question whether the fact of the great feast is Passover or not? Well, Father, if that's not the most important question, what might be? Try this. Can you possibly put a date or fix a feast on Jesus' love and his example? When did Jesus' love begin? And can it ever end? Those are important questions. Whether it was Passover or not, what we do know is that it was certainly the Last Supper, a final meal that is remembered. This supper is an expression of love. Sometimes we humans eat simply to consume food, to get some energy, to stave off hunger. But you don't celebrate instant breakfast on the go or a fast lunch gobbled down between classes, chores, or meetings. Dogs take in food. Sometimes they share a common bowl. But do they really enjoy the company of each other and, in, and share a and enjoy a life-giving meal the way humans can and do? Humans really enjoy a meal together. Consider New Year's Day dinner, your birthday, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, the 4th of July, most especially in the United States, Thanksgiving. It's a meal prepared as an act of love. For festival meals, expenses really are not spared. Who cares if the kid's inheritance is spent for a crown roast of veal and vintage wine? The food and the table talk will always be remembered. My golly, that was a good time. The food was excellent, and the company and the stories, wow. You know, I found things that I never knew. Wow, I'll always remember that night, and I want to do it again. And we do it again, ritually. We continue the tradition because it holds us together. It unifies us. It tells us who we are as a family and something about our friends. At the common table, all are equal. Well, certainly, Dad or Grandpa sits at the head of the table, and all eat and all drink. The same for all just as much as you want. That's the ideal. And further, we remember the example, and we imitate it again and again. The meal, the food, the stories, not to be ignored. They're passed down for generations to follow. With this in mind, return to the Last Supper for just a moment. 
even the most despicable one, Judas, receives the marcel. And Peter does too. And so do all the rest. And each one in his own way will go off to fail Jesus, even betray him publicly. But here's the point. Jesus reveals God's love. To love is to serve them first, 180 degrees away from me first selfishness, even the ones who don't understand and don't deserve. Love is the central commandment. I give you a new commandment, to love one another, as I have loved you, so you also should love one another. Find that in chapter 13, verse 34. Once you understand Jesus' love, now go out and practice it. Understand and belief will lead to practice, practice acts of love. As, love, as long as love remains, Jesus remains. And as long as Jesus remains, he will be encountered. Go, make a difference. Turn away from selfishness and turn toward love and service to one another. God bless.